Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about a direct connected binary. Direct connected binary is nothing but there are no coupling elements involved between the two transistors. Previously, I told you there are two different types of coupling mechanisms like collector coupling and emitter coupling. So far, we have seen collector coupling. I will explain how the emitter coupling circuit will work in the next video. So before going into the next emitter coupled coupling, this video explains you how a direct coupling also works as a bistable multivibrator. So in the direct connected in the direct connected binary, again there are two transistors. These two transistors are connected directly without any coupling elements. Coupling elements are nothing but like resistors or capacitors. So this is VCC. From VCC you are having a collector resistor here. And this is a collector resistor. Collector resistor is not a coupling element. Coupling element is nothing but which is connected between two points. This is plus VCC. It is in terms of tens of values like 12 volts or 15 volts. Now here, see here, previously there was a resistor R1 from here to the base of this transistor. But the, here there is no resistor. And similarly here also when you are taking the output of one collector to another base, there is no coupling element. This is uh, this is Q1 transistor and this is Q2 transistor, C2, base 2 and emitter 2. So we know emitter is directly grounded. As there are no coupling elements, there is no biasing also required because they are connected directly without having any attenuator network in between. And this is collector 1, this is base 1 and this is emitter 1. Okay. Now, Initially, let us assume that Q1 is in on state and Q2 is in off state. So as the transistor Q1 is on, in on state, its emitter is grounded and since its base and collectors are connected to VCC through a resistor RC, then what happens simply IB1 is equal to, IB1 is nothing but the current entering into this. So IB1 we can write it as IB1 is equal to VCC minus VBE1 first transistor base to emitter junction voltage by RC. See, IB1, IB1 is the current flowing from the here to here towards the base 1. As this transistor, Q2 transistor is in off state, there is no current flowing through the Q2. The current which is drawing from VCC through RC that goes towards the base of the transistor Q1. So IB1 we can write it as VCC minus what is the junction voltage here VBE. VCC minus VBE by what is the resistance we have in that path RC. And IC1. IC1 how can we write this? IC1 is equal to as this transistor is in on state, the voltage across this on transistor is VC sat from here to ground. So VCC minus VC sat by RC. This is IC1. So VCC minus VC sat divided by RC. We know that IB1 is far greater than IC1 by HFE. IC1 by HFE. Okay. See, the value of this IB1 is very, very far greater compared to IC1 by HFE because this value is more. Beta value is more. As beta value is more, then the value of IB becomes very very greater compared to IC1. So and hence we can say that Q1 is driven heavily into saturation. So for germanium transistor, for germanium transistor, VCE1 is equal to 
zero point zero five volts and VBE one is equal to zero point three volts. So because of this direct connection between the collectors Q one, see here between the collectors of Q one and the base of transistor Q two. So VB one, VB two is equal to VC one is equal to zero point zero five. We can directly equate the volt junction voltages. Whatever the voltage appeared here, the same voltage appeared at this point also. And similarly, the voltage appeared here can be equated to this point because these are connected directly. It is a direct connected binary. So we can write uh, VBE two is equal to VCE one is equal to zero point zero five volts. That means a small positive value appeared. So Q two is not off and it will be conducting slightly. It will be conducting slightly. So the output voltage swing, the output voltage swing, nothing but maximum excursion that is equal to VCE two minus VCE one that is equal to VBE one minus sorry VCE VBE one minus VCE one. So already VB1, we know 0.3 volts minus VC1 is 0.05, so it is 0.3 minus 0.05 volts. That is equal to 0.25 volts. So even though it has some advantages, there are many serious disadvantages for this a direct connected binary. Okay, that's why these circuits are not preferred because of these disadvantages. Okay, uh, I will tell few advantages and disadvantages of this one. First one, advantages. Advantages of direct connected binary. So, what are the advantages? It's extremely simplicity, extreme simplicity, extreme simplicity. Only one supply voltage of low value, about 1.5 volts, is required. Only one supply is of how much? 1.5 volts is required. Okay, so power consumption is also good. Low power consumption. Low power dissipation or consumption. Because we are using a single power supply. Transistors with low breakdown voltages may be used. Transistors with low breakdown may be used. Breakdown voltage and nothing but VCBO. Like that, when collect when emitter is open, what is the voltage across VCB junction voltage? Now let us see the disadvantages also for this one. The disadvantages, disadvantages. So as temperature increases, the reverse saturation current ICBO may increase sufficiently to bring Q1 into active region and may even take Q2 out of saturation. So due to increase in temperature, due to increase in temperature, what happens? The transistor states, the transistor states may vary may vary so because of this the original feature of the bistable multivibrator is violating okay so as the temperature varies the properties of the transistors may vary that may change the transistor on to off or off to on because there is no coupling element directly they can contact together since q2 is driven heavily into saturation the storage time delay will be large and switching speed also low so storage time and switching
speed are affected that means what i mean storage time becomes more and the switching speed becomes less it becomes more it becomes less okay so the voltage swing is only a fraction of a voltage and hence the binary is susceptible to spurious voltages the voltage swing as the voltage swing is very small what is the voltage swing you have calculated see 0.25 volts 0.25 volts means very very small voltage the volt as the voltage swing is very small it is susceptible to spurious or unwanted we can say spurious or unwanted voltages okay because it is having very low voltage okay so that is the disadvantage more disadvantages are there compared to advantages that's why this type of binary direct connected binary is not at all preferred okay so this is about direct connected binary in the next video i will explain about emitter coupled uh, bistable multi vibrator which is nothing but a split trigger okay thank you